Hello! So in this episode, I want to talk about how I started exercising again after breaking my collarbone and having the surgery and kind of, yeah, the timeline of when I got back to doing things and how and all that kind of stuff. So let's begin. So I broke my collarbone and uh, about a week later I had the surgery and in that week obviously I didn't really do anything and to give you some background I'm someone who's usually very active I play football I go to the gym I ride my bike everywhere so it was quite an adjustment for me to get hurt and then suddenly be able to do hardly any of those things um in that first week basically all I could do is walk and I did walk a good bit but I was not feeling great and spent a lot of time also just at home doing nothing and sitting. So yeah, there was really virtually no activity happening in that week. But then after the surgery, um, after the first few days that were kind of bad, uh, then I could really start doing things again because my collarbone was in one piece and I didn't have to wear the sling anymore. And yeah, I felt like that was the point at which things started going back uphill uh, ever so slowly at the beginning. So I had my surgery on the Friday and I got sent home from the hospital on Sunday. And on Monday, I went to the gym. I didn't go to get the craziest, best workout ever of my life, obviously. But I just so, so needed to, one, like just sweat, <laughs> just do some sport and feel yeah, feel like I used my body again after a week or so of just feeling really lethargic. And also for my mental health, I usually move so much and it really benefits me to, yeah, just keep me sane and grounded and, and feeling really good. And I needed those endorphins or that dopamine hit or whatever, all the stuff that I get from doing sports, I need a little bit of that, even though I couldn't do much. I rode the stationary bike, which put no pressure on my collarbone or my upper body. And I did a few really simple exercises that also didn't put any pressure on my um, collarbone or upper body. So that was, yeah, I kept a couple days after my surgery. And then in that week, I also went to the gym again a few days later. And I did a little bit more um, stuff that time. I think I did, um, I did some crunches, which put like the teeniest slightest strain on this area but also it was a bit hard to tell at that time because this area was just generally like really tight and still a bit like coming out of the numbness and so I couldn't really tell okay is that strain happening there or is that just that that area feels a little bit strained all the time but I didn't do much and I felt fine afterwards so I think it was fine yeah I think that was it for the first week I was walking a lot because normally I, as I said, I ride my bike everywhere, but I couldn't ride my bike, so I was taking public transport, but you have to walk to the public transport and you have to walk other places that the public transport doesn't go to. So actually, I think I was doing a lot more walking than I typically do, um, which felt good. Like, yeah, it, it didn't feel like sport per se, but I know walking is good for you, so. In the second week after my surgery, I was on holidays. I was with my family in Scotland. So there I was also doing a lot of walking. We were hiking. I mean, hiking is generous, but we were walking outdoors. Um, and I actually went swimming there too, which I know I wasn't supposed to. You're not supposed to get stitches wet, but I didn't get them wet because I wore a waterproof bandage on them. And I thought it would just feel really good to move my upper body a little bit, like really, you know, kind of gentle movement. I wasn't like swimming really hard or something. I was doing like just very, very gentle, kind of standing in the water and doing this. It felt really good to just have a little bit of resistance on my upper body and kind of this like gentle fluid movement of just mobilizing my collarbone and it didn't hurt and it yeah, felt good. In the third week after my surgery, I was back home and I went back to work. So kind of got more into my regular routine, still walking a lot because I was still taking public transport and not riding my bike. I had my first physical therapy session um, with a physical therapist in that week. 
and he gave me some different physio exercises to do than the ones I'd been doing, which were a little bit more like sport, but still nothing really that would break a sweat. I mean, really light weights, um, but it just, yeah, felt more and it was more movement than I'd been doing. I asked about going back to things like jogging and playing football, and he said I could do those as soon as I felt ready, like make a good call for myself, and as long as there was no pain. And I also saw my orthopedist in this week, and he said the same thing, like use your best judgment, don't do anything risky, but if jogging doesn't bother you, then by all means jog. And um, so then I did jog that week for the first time, and I was really excited. I um, had no issues. I jogged just for 15 minutes. I didn't want to overdo it the first time. And I jogged really slowly on a treadmill. So there was no risk of like slipping or anything that I would have outside. And it was totally fine for my collarbone. The only thing that bugged me was the way like my bra strap rubbed on the, the scar because I don't usually wear a bra. So this was like the first time I was wearing a bra again as well. So I just put the strap under my armpit, but then I didn't like the way the shirt was rubbing on the scar. And it was all just like surface. It was just the irritation of the scar it was nothing inside. So then I kind of like hooked my shirt up with my thumb like this and just jogged like this, which for 15 minutes was fine. Um, and that was good, I think also, cause it kind of kept my whole shoulder and collarbone a little bit less, yeah, just less movement, less swinging, not like the full kind of running, yeah, movement range of motion, whatever. Then it was the fourth week after my surgery and I jogged even more that week. I jogged for 20 minutes and um, stopped having to hold my shirt up. I did more exercises at the gym. I think I did squat jumps that time. First time like jumping, I did some skater hops. I even did a few upper body things, but like with really low weights, like bicep curls with like a two kilo barbell. I mean, again, not for the workout, but for the range of motion and just like getting the feeling again and kind of waking up those muscles a bit. Um, yeah, and in this week, I rode my bike again. That was a really big deal for me. I actually hadn't been like chomping at the bit to do it. I was quite okay in the previous weeks not riding my bike. I wasn't really feeling ready for that. And um, yeah, it just, I, I kind of had to. I had to take my bike in to get something fixed on it. And I was like, oh, can I be bothered to walk my bike to the bike shop? It was like a 15 minute walk and a five minute bike ride. So I thought, okay, come on, it's been a month. Um, you're not gonna go on any cobblestones. It's a really short ride and just go slowly and see. And if it hurts, just get off your bike and walk it. Like there were no stakes. So I did and it was fine. Um, like I said, it was only a five minute ride, but it felt nice. Then it was the fifth week after my surgery. In this week, another big breakthrough. It's November 14th and it's about a little over four weeks after my surgery and today I'm going back to football for the first time. I'm excited. I'm of course playing with no contact at this point, like really no contact. Like when I got the ball, everybody would scatter, which kind of feels great in football because you want to have all the space to go run with the ball and do your thing. But when you know people are just doing it to, you know, baby you in a way, it's not quite as satisfying. So even though it felt great to be back, um, it, you know, it wasn't the same as, as playing, playing, but I could still um, run, I could pass, I could dribble, I could do a lot of the drills. I just didn't play with contact in the game we had. And yeah, everybody on my team was very gentle. And I think my coach was even like n very nervous that I was back, more nervous than I was. I think everybody was more nervous than I was. So that was quite funny. Um, but yeah, playing football again was huge for me and I was really, really excited. And in this week, I started the eight week skier strength training program that I have another episode on. This was really cool because um, the trainer who wrote the program helped me modify the program a bit so that it didn't have any exercises that I couldn't do or that put way too much strain on my collarbone. So I 
obviously nothing I was doing in it was was hurting that, but it was more, let's say, like exercises that are more strenuous or closer to my collarbone and shoulder. So things like uh, a squat with a barbell on your back where you're holding it there and it's not, there's no movement or motion going on here, but like you still have a big heavy barbell on your back with weights on it. So yeah, things like that where it was like slightly closer to this area. Um, but yeah, nothing in that program caused me any pain and um, the things that we did modify, I even modified some to kind of like, instead of that exercise, do a different exercise and combine some of my physio exercises. So it was like making it work for me in more than one way, which was cool. Then it was uh, week six after my surgery and I'm only gonna go up to week seven. So it's almost done. If you've watched this far, well done. By now I'm riding my bike all the time again. So commuting on it like I usually do, which is about an hour, hour and 15 a day, depending on the day. Um, I'm going to football once a week uh, and it's going fine. Um, like little by little doing more, still not playing with contact, but um, sprinting again, which I wasn't doing at first because of the very kind of jolty motion you do here. Ever so slightly trying to play with some contact. Not, I'm not like going shoulder to shoulder with anybody, obviously, but going into tackles and stuff, like getting a little bit braver, which I feel bad for my teammates here because they're all like, ooh, we can't touch you. And then if I go into a tackle, it must make them feel really weird. But I also can't play without doing that. Like that's, you kind of need to do that to, to play football. So I, yeah, I'm trying to like step my way back into really truly playing. Um, and my poor teammates just have to deal with it. Anyway, um, I'm now, Re in this week, remodifying the eight weeks gear strength program because some of the exercises that I thought at the beginning I couldn't do or indeed couldn't do, I actually found I could do when I tried them. Um, like a chest pass using a medicine ball. I used a really light medicine ball. At first I just did it with like a super, super light ball and it just, it felt like nothing. I could have just done it with nothing. So then I was like, okay, come on, give it, um, give it a go with like a very light medicine ball. I think I was using like a six or an eight kilo medicine ball and throwing it with both arms. So like my right arm is doing a lot of the work too. Anyway, so yeah, remodifying the program to work in things that I can actually do or see if I can do things, which has been nice. And in that week I got new physio exercises that actually are like hard. I mean, the others were hard, but it was because of the motion. Like I didn't quite have the motion yet. And these ones are now hard because I'm actually doing them with weights and resistance that's challenging, which feels really good. So you can kind of call those sport, I guess. <laughs> and in this week, I made two achievements. I did 10 push ups on my knees and I did a plank with stiff arms for 10 seconds. Both things that my physio said I could start trying to do. So I was allowed to do these things and it felt good to do them. Okay, and now you're all caught up. I'm currently in my seventh week after my surgery. That's all the stuff I've been doing up until now. And in the next weeks, I have some goals. One of them is maybe a little cheeky, but I'm still gonna do it. I wanna go back to the jump house. Um, I'm not gonna, do any backflips or probably do the cork or anything like that. But I just want to keep working on my aerial awareness for skiing. And I like doing like balance exercises there and spins, all things where there's virtually no risk that I would fall on my collarbone and things that I think, yeah, I don't want to completely give up all the kind of training I'd been doing for months going there weekly to bi-weekly. Does bi-weekly mean two times a week or does bi-weekly mean every two weeks? I never know that. Anyway, every one to two weeks that I was going there. Yeah, I guess the other goal I would have is just keep little by little having a bit more contact in football. From my orthopedist, I was told that after about three months, you can start playing with contact again, like use your best judgment, but three months is kind of the rule of thumb with more 
intense and physical sport after collarbone surgery. So until then, I want to, yeah, steadily increase my contact and and build myself back up to playing the way I was playing before I got injured. And yeah, just keep keep getting strong, keep recovering, keep building this up. I won't say back up because it wasn't particularly strong to begin with, so just building it up. And that's it, really. There's no other sporting endeavors or things I used to do that I can't already do after on Friday. So in three days, it'll be seven weeks since my surgery. So it all feels like it's gone really fast. I'm super happy with what I've been able to achieve and pleasantly surprised. <laughs> um, but I've also been pushing myself. So, you know, it's not for nothing. Like I've invested the time and the effort to make it so that I can come back quicker to doing the things I love. And I'm lucky enough that there haven't been any complications and um, yeah, any unforeseen reasons why, why I wouldn't be able to do those things. So yeah, that's it. That's my update on how it was getting back to exercise and working out and sport and all that kind of stuff after having collarbone surgery. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking to the video this long and see you in the next one.